Welcome everyone and today we're going to replace the well cover gasket on Ford Focus 2005 equipped with a 2 liters 4 cylinders Duratec dual overhead cam engine and why we're going to do that right because it has a leak problem and misfire cylinder 4 has a misfire issue and look at that cyl cylinder that's a spark plug well and it's all full of oil up to the top of the spur plug covered with the engine oil i will take you step by step and cover every single detail you need to know how to do it right disconnect your negative battery terminal first and that way you're safe you won't short accidentally anything i will share with you torque all those specs you need to know bolt sequence and everything what might you need it okay we need to disconnect quite a bit of things and look at those studs we need to undo those ones and more on the back to remove the valve cover itself spray the penetrating oil whatever you have wd-40 or any penetrating lubricant let it sit for a little bit that will help us to take the cover easy if you first time to the channel feel free to subscribe if you want and um, yeah if you have any questions let me know second thing before we'll start taking it apart we need to do a good cleanup you see lots of connectors needs to be disconnected we have a lots of dirt build up around the spark plug coils and everything's covered in dust and the pine needles and bunch of leaves and we need to clean that make sure nothing will get inside use the compressed air and spend a good time to clean everything make sure nothing will get under the cover inside the engine that's simple you see that oil and dirt some sand all on top of the well cover i like to mark my spark plug coils make sure i will put them in the same way how they will come out i just put a number with a paint marker okay start disconnecting the connectors from ignition coils just press that plastic tab push it down and pull it out it should come out if they're hard to pull might spray a little bit of wd-40 there's a one bolt holding them down disconnect the cam positioning sensor as well undo those plastic clips for the ignition and fuel injector harness disconnect the fuel pressure sensor see the four connectors for the, igni for the injectors we'll undo those ones and uh, pull the cylinder head temperature sensor boot and as you can see there is a sensor inside we need to disconnect that guy as well before we will get ready and start removing the well cover yeah if you have any questions yeah ask down in the section below i would like to spend more time just cover everything and not rush this is not for entertainment more for well how to how to how to how to do it okay remove the spark plug ignition coils and remove that bolt and pull them out yep put them away and the same way remove other three one two three four boom we removed all of them nice and easy now we can see better what bolts we need to remove undo the vacuum line for the brake booster push the yellow clip like i'm showing and see that little hook push it out and pull the tubing out and it will come out don't force it because if it will break that'll be a hard time to fix okay now we need to undo that uh, uh, wiring harness and pull that out and remove that cap cover as well and now we need to move the harness aside because that's on our way okay 
place it like this and we have injectors disconnected all harness push it away and now we're getting better access to those bolts uh, actually those studs they stay they will stay inside the well cover as well okay there's a bunch of them around and start removing them 10 millimeter socket and one by one we'll go and undo all of them now everything's clean and we're ready to remove as you can see they spin inside the well cover and they won't come out they just will get out from the cylinder head simple as that it's why i sprayed it will be easy to remove them from aluminum head okay on the back of the uh, cover there's a metal clip just bend it out and that will get us a room to remove the cover okay there is a couple bolts inside between the two camshafts in the valley undo those ones and carefully pry the well cover with the pry bar don't scratch the meeting surfaces because it will leak oil okay pull it like that where's the stud and carefully try to lift it up okay as soon as it will get loose you can finish it and lift it out and pull it by hand pretty simple pretty easy but i don't know you never <laughs> think to do it twice do it right first time and you won't mess anything and you won't miss anything yep because time is the greatest value it's always decreasing over time and you better do it once do it quality job do best as you can no hurry no rush and let vehicle have a happier life and serve you well this is a project car lots of work needs to be done okay we need to wipe that oil where the new gasket will sit clean all of that and make sure everything's nice and dry that will get a good contact for the gasket okay we'll do the cleanup clean the all components and then we'll install the new gasket okay i already soaked some oil from the cylinder or from the uh, spark plug well it's all clean and pay attention to the front timing chain cover we will get back to that okay i actually clean the cylinder now not cylinder spark plug well number four and collected that oil and uh, yeah now as you can see there is a sealant at the front of the well card where is a um, timing chain cover that will get back to that all right because we're outside and we don't want any dirt or dust any debris get inside just put a paper towel or clean rag will work before yeah something will get inside and we won't find it okay and uh, next step we're going to clean the uh, uh, cylinder no well cover well cover and get it ready for new gasket pretty simple pretty easy and let's get going okay i wash it i clean it and it's nice and now i will remove my old gasket pay attention how it fits it only will go in one direction because it made to a certain shape and you won't be able to install it wrong way just pay attention to those details and you will be fine clean everything use the pick and carefully pick that gasket try not to leave any marks any scratches because it's a plastic it's so easy to scratch and then it will leak okay remove the old gasket well it's the same way i'm doing see i'm just uh, thinking if we'll stop on those important details remove those inner parts of the gasket those small ones you will not miss anything and if it's sometimes feels too long you always can speed it up or 
skip some moments if it's very clear for you but if you need more details that will serve you good job and uh, it will help might be if it even will help one person that will be awesome okay remove all gasket and uh, wipe it with a paper towel clean those uh, small grooves small channels and uh, yeah now we're ready to install the new gasket all clean all nice that's time to install a new open it up and uh, we're good simple as that yeah subscribe to the channel and uh, click that notification bell we really appreciated that this is my hobby small youtube channel and um, yeah i like to do the car repairs maintenance troubleshooting and uh, thing all stuff on my vehicles and yeah same time i put my camera and uh, yeah like to share pay attention to those uh, uh grooves and start it from the front and you will see there's a shape of the gasket place it exactly how it fits and as you see those uh, rubber uh, grommets uh, grooves around the fasteners and put them exactly how they made for each other it won't fit if you put it in wrong but that paid just attention to those three and started from that corners will be in my opinion faster and yeah easier yeah if, especially if you need to do it the first time that can be challenging if you're a mechanic or you have done it many times that's that's probably very simple for you very easy task yep yeah, we're putting new gasket yeah, this Ford needs quite a bit of work. This is my project and I will make few other interesting videos and will share with all of you guys. And uh, yeah, I hope it will become handy to someone. And uh, yeah, that's that will be perfect. Okay, I install the inner part. And as you can see, all fit. It will sit tight, won't fall out, fall out. And uh, yep, check it before you will be ready to go and install. Just uh, make sure it all in and nothing's missing. And uh, that way, it won't leak. It will work and last a long time. Okay, this is a uh, what. I said we need to apply sealant to the front part of the uh, valve cover basically saying uh, to that place where the uh, front uh, um, timing chain cover meets a uh, um, cylinder head part and that's a very important I, I watched a few videos on YouTube and they didn't mention lots of views but unfortunately all those gaskets will leak okay clean the area where we will apply the gasket sealant at the front with a rubbing alcohol and make sure it's dry and no any oil oil residues and apply the gasket maker this is a gasket sealant or the petroleum resistant uh, compounds okay as you can see where they those are two parts where they match just put a sealant like that and unfortunately saying uh, <laughs> Yeah, people shown how to do the well cover gasket, but they never ever like few videos were missing this part, and um, unluckily yeah, that gasket will fail prematurely. It will especially on a engine like this because 
engine equipped with a timing chain that chain lubricated by the engine oil okay make sure you have the sealant there on both sides and now we're ready to install our valve cover with the new gaskets this engine seems like has never ever seen a new well cover gaskets it's already 300 thousand kilometers on the motor you could probably see those uh, camshaft lobes and all the components they're they're like new because engine was well maintained and uh, yep engine runs good and the vehicle has uh, some life to go i hope it will last up to 500,000 kilometers and uh, there's no other issue just some minor maintenance and a few repairs needs to be done all right sweet we placed our almost looking new well cover and with the new gasket okay there is a bolt pattern how you tie a uh, bolt sequence how you properly tighten torque uh, well cover and it's because you want to three up to up to 14 13 fasteners and i started by hand run them down uh to the when the, the gasket touches a metal and then i torque them in to like i i went like half and then i torque them completely and torque should be around about uh, seven ten foot pounds of torque or you just uh, fill it by hand and uh, that's not hard you don't want to over torque it because that plastic and the aluminum don't go too crazy and as i said that's around about uh, uh, seven ten foot pounds of torque and uh, yeah i will speed it up and uh, yeah that's pretty much it Put all wiring back, spark plug, uh, coils, and uh, yeah, connect the battery, and everything should be good. Thank you so much again for watching. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them down in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, if you would like to support my small hobby YouTube channel, just go and watch more videos. Take care, brothers and sisters, and yeah, see you soon. Bye bye.